So Intel's 10 nanometer process has been a disaster of epic proportions with countless delays and still no product in sight. Promised to appear in 2017, there's still no consumer grade product that was meant to launch under the Cannon Lake family. But that may change very soon as Lily Puting has gotten the details regarding a specific Intel NUP featuring the Cannon Lake 10 nanometer processor. The Intel Cannon Lake processors once appeared to be a generational leap with the latest 10 nanometer process node, but the difficulties with 10 nanometer process led to huge delays for a product that was meant to launch years ago. During this time, rivals such as TSMC and Samsung have managed to catch up with Intel's own fabs, and the blue team is no longer looking like the leader of this chip department anymore. However, Intel will be launching 10 nanometer Canon Lake processors soon, and while there are no details on when these CPUs will actually launch, some data from various benchmark databases confirm that OEMs are already testing 10 nanometer samples within their upcoming products. We've previously saw Lenovo based notebooks that appeared with a dual core i3 8121U chip rocking a clock speed of 2.2 GHz with a TDP of 15 watts. The 3D performance benchmarks was also posted by Tomb Apisak where the Core i3 8121-based NUC, along with the discrete Radeon RX 550 graphics chip, posted a score of 4434 points. 4553 for graphics, 4209 points for physics. Anyway, coming to that specific NUC, the details sh show that the new NUCs will be coming soon and will feature two unusual things. A CPU with no integrated graphics and a NUC designed with discrete graphics. This will be the first for a NUC, and the discrete graphics will actually be like AMD Radeon RX 500 series GPU, which is quite interesting. There are no specific details regarding the RX 500 GPU inside the NUC, but due to power constraints, we can expect something along the lines of a Radeon 550 or a 560 within these PCs. The NUC will fall under the Crimson Canyon NUC branding, while the Core i3-8121U Cannon Lake U processor will retain the 8th generation core branding, Intel themselves are not expecting a huge gain in, uh, in performance with Cannon Lake, hence they don't warrant completely new 9th generation branding for the upcoming series. Our take is that the 9th gen is reserved for 10 nanometer plus ice lake process. There will be two variants of Intel Crimson Canyon NUCs starting at 450 euros and will launch around May with the possibility of the launch being moved to June for Computex of 2018. And both of these models do include a dual core processor with four threads and a Radeon 500 series graphics card. This will be the latest addition to the NUC family featuring graphics from AMD Radeon. The Hades Canyon NUC already rocks the custom-built RX Vega graphics with HBM2 memory. The Crimson NUCs will support 2GB of GDDR5, and that will definitely be a good update in the graphics department over Intel's own integrated graphics chipset. Now, we are working on our own Hades Canyon review at the moment, and we really can't wait to show you what kind of performance it offers to the average gamer in a nice sleek package that will be posted over on the website. And you'll be able to find the link to that in the description below. But let us know what you think of these NUCs. Are you glad to see a what could be a much more cost-effective NUC with discrete level graphics that could pose as a really nice media device for your living room, pushing basic games at 1080p possibly with no problem? It's still on a dual core, but it's still a really, really small package. So love to hear your thoughts on that. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.